This is part 48 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what to do if the Bootstrap Scroll Spy plugin is not working. Many of you have sent me emails saying you have used exactly the same code that we discussed in our previous video but could not get the Scroll Spy plugin to work. Chances are you might be missing the doc type declaration. Doc type declaration is required for the Scroll Spy plugin to work. Notice at the top of our HTML file we have got the doc type declaration. At this point, the scroll spy plugin works as expected. Notice as we scroll up and down, the respective links within the navbar are highlighted. But the moment we remove this doc type declaration and when we reload this page, first of all notice the last link within the navbar is highlighted and as we scroll up and down, nothing happens. So the scroll spy plugin is not working. But the moment we put it back in place, and when we reload it starts to work again. So the first step is to make sure you have that doc type declaration. This doc type declaration designates this file as HTML5 and the scroll spy plugin should start to work. Even after this step if the scroll spy plugin is still not working then make sure the element with data spy attribute has the position style set to relative. In our example it's the body element that has got the data spy attribute and if you notice within the style section we have set body elements position to relative. Even after this second step if the scroll spy plugin is still not working then use scroll spy method to manually add the scroll spy plugin using JavaScript instead of using data dash attributes. Let's now flip to Visual Studio and scroll all the way down to our jQuery ready function. It's the body element that we want to spy on. So first, let's find the body element and on that, let's call scroll spy method. We need to specify two options for this method and those two options are target and offset. The value for target option is the ID of our navbar and the value for offset is the default value 10. So let's go ahead and specify those two options. First, let's specify the target option. So the value for the target option is the ID of our navbar which is main navbar and the value for the offset option is going to be the default value 10. Since we have added the scroll spy plugin manually using JavaScript code there is no need for these data dash attributes so let's go ahead and delete all these three data dash attributes. Let's say our changes reload our web page now notice the scroll spy plugin is working exactly the same way as before. Here is the JavaScript code that we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.